Alright, uh, thank you, Katie. Uh, now, modern fantasy is defined on Wikipedia as a subgenre of fantasy set in the present day. It's also referred to as contemporary or indigenous fantasy, and the further branch of this subgenre, which is quite popular, is urban fantasy. Modern fantasy stories that take place in cities. Now, works of modern fantasy are set in the real world, and often magic and magical creatures exist in it, or they are leaking over from alternate worlds. As you considered a modern fantasy, however, most of the action and magic must take place in the real world. A book where characters spend most of their time in alternate worlds is not considered modern, fan modern fantasy. The modern fantasy genre is an excellent choice for teens who enjoy reading about characters who live in the real world, but with a magical twist. So, three authors who have written a number of engaging modern fantasy books for young adults are Ewan Culfer, J.K. Rowling, and Holly Black. So, Ewan Culfer is the author of Artemis the Artemis Fowl series. A series about an Irish 12-year-old of the same name, who's perhaps too smart for his own good. While Artemis is only 12, he's in many ways quite mature for his age, as well as quick-witted and likely to entertain teens with a sometimes dark sense of humor and sometimes not entirely pure motives. Over the series, he undergoes quite a complex transformation from a young man who is quite selfish and only out to get what he wants, the magic of the fairies, to someone who is actually able to make friends with fairies and tear himself away from the many undeniably cool technical gadgets his enormous wealth allows him to purchase. The books transport the reader to exciting locations such as Siberia, France, and Artemis's home country, Ireland. There have been talks of the series being made into films for quite a long time now, but nothing concrete has come out of it yet. So there are some graphic novels of the books, and the author himself has described the series as Die Hard with Fairies. Alright, now J.K. Rowling is next. Um, she has become one of the most successful authors in our times with her Harry Potter series. Uh, the later books in the series are especially relatable to older teens, as the main characters are more grown up and have to face uh, much more difficult challenges and moral dilemmas than they did in their earlier years at Hogwarts. Rowling paints some interesting parallels between Lord Voldemort's reign of terror in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, the final book, and Nazi Germany, which will uh, interest teens who, have been, who like reading about that particular time period. World War II. So Harry and his friends also have to navigate the sometimes torturous world of relationships and try to understand the opposite sex. The Harry Potter movies are quite successful alongside the books. Now finally, Holly Black is a newer but a very talented author whose modern fairy tales are a perfect example of urban fantasy. They are quite most definitely in the older teen category, as there is foul language, sexual content, as well as cigarette, alcohol, and drug use among the main characters. The main character named Val in the second book, Valiant, who runs away for a short time to live on the streets, and she becomes addicted to a magical substance that she uh, injects intravenously, and this causes her trouble in her world as well as in the world of fairy. The fascinatingly, uh, fascinating and extremely dangerous world of fairy exists simultaneously between the real world right under the noses of regular humans in New Jersey in one book and New York in the other. Um, so it's similar to Harry Potter in the way that the muggle world and the wizarding world sort of coexist with only the wizarding world knowing uh, the knowing about the muggle world, and the muggle world does not know about the wizarding world, so it's very similar in uh, Holly Black's books with the world of fairy and the real world. There's a constantly shifting balance between the seely and the unseely courts uh, in, in Holly Black's books, and neither side is proclaimed to be evil 
or good, both sides have complex characters that often have hidden motives. The books are filled with gritty detail and relationships between humans and fairies. And a human girl, Kay, finds out that she's not who she thought she was and embarks on, on a potentially dangerous relationship with a mysterious fairy in the first book, Ty. Alright, now Lisa will bring you to our presentation, uh, uh, bring her presentation to its conclusion. Thank you.